Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA Online video. Even though we're in single player today, since we got confirmation yesterday that the next DLC is going to have nightclubs in it, I wanted to take you guys around the map and actually show you the locations of all the nightclubs in the game. Now, there are like two or three of them that I think everyone knows, and this is one of them, Bahama Mamas. There's actually, if I uh, fly inside of here, there's actually an interior that you can go into and you can actually glitch into this place in online but there's no one inside but there is an interior and it's a really detailed one and it was weird because in the last detail on update rockstar brought this back because for a couple of months you couldn't actually get in here this interior was removed from online but then they put it back in in the last update and it makes sense now that we know the next update is going to have these clubs come out if you aren't actually familiar with this club it is located on the left hand side of the map around all of these buildings but i'm gonna go take you guys around the map and show you some of the other nightclubs i would say the second most popular one is tequila la the only problem with this one is that it actually is used for a supply mission for the MC club so I'm not entirely sure how they're gonna incorporate this club you know into online as a business or as something you would be able to own if it's a part of that it does have an interior which I'll go ahead and load up if I can figure out how to do so so here we are inside and again this is another really you know fleshed out interior and it's actually one of the few nightclub interiors uh, that we can go into so this is Tequila La, and if you're wondering where it's on the map, we're over here, kind of by the Eclipse Towers. Now, literally right across the street from Tequila La, we have the Lust Resort. And over here on the sign, you can see it does say bar and nightclub. So this could be another potential property that we own. There's actually a lot like in this area. If we go just kind of straight down the road this way, right here is actually a another club and we're just literally right down the road we're right in front of the the maze or the eclipse towers the eclipse towers is this building and this one is really discreet it's called society and you'll actually know or notice in single player and i believe sometimes even in online there are some npcs waiting around this area at nighttime but that is another club now, a little further this way down the road, you can see there's Eclipse Towers, and that's the area we came from. We have this club, which is called the Dungeon Crawler. It's a uh, little smaller than some of the other ones, and it's kind of another discreet one because, I mean, it's not. There's n Besides the sign up there, there's nothing really to tell you that this is a club, but this is another one of the clubs in the game. And then if we continue going down like a block or two this way, we will run into this one, the Eclipse Lounge. Now this one, I guess, would be maybe more formal. It's a little bit bigger, but this is another bar slash nightclub spot. You can see you can get some people hanging out down here. Now before we get away from this area, there are actually two clubs over here that aren't nightclubs, and I don't know if they would be considered something that you could buy as properties in this upcoming DLC. But we actually have another strip club here. This one is called Horn Bills. And you know, maybe it if it does come out in the update, it would work like the strip club down here. And then right across the street, we also have a comedy club. We have Split Sides West Comedy Club. So it'd be kind of cool if in this next DLC with these clubs, if we could perhaps choose which sort of you know theme of the club you know it would be i know i guess that maybe wouldn't make sense with some of the ones that i've showed you guys just because of you know what's on the signs and all that but it is something i thought would be cool and actually with this split sides comedy club there is an interior that was cut from the game so this is the interior of the comedy club and you can't actually access this without spawning it or like i just did with a, a mod menu so this could be another thing we see come back you know that's cut content now going more into the city we have one club over here this one is called the vault and this one's a really cool uh or this is a cool looking 
club but you can see right here it's called the vault los santos and this is another area where you'll eventually see some npcs and stuff gathered around a little further north up in the downtown vinewood area we have a few clubs this one is called clappers and you can see this one's another pretty big one so you know if this was one we could own i'm guessing it would be one of the more expensive ones but the entrance is right here and this one's actually kind of different in that it's got somewhat of a i mean it's not really an interior because obviously these are horrible textures but it does have a little space in there and then right around the block from that we have singletons right here which is another little club slash bar area i think it's more of like a barbecue joint or something that's what i read on the wiki and it says barbecue right there but this is one of the other clubs up in this vinewood area one of the final ones is actually near los santos customs but this one is called cockatoos nightclub and i believe that right there is the entrance to it you can see on the map that's where we are and then one of the final nightclubs we have is actually way up here in Polito bay and it's called the hen house it's a bar and nightclub as you see right there now it's going to be interesting to see what rockstar do with these clubs if in this nightclub dlc are they going to let us purchase these clubs and then use them as properties or are they actually going to give us completely new clubs maybe underground clubs and the reason I say that is because, I mean, if they don't use the clubs I just showed you guys, there's not many areas on the map that they could just add a new building to and call it a club. But if they were to add an underground nightclub, then they could put a little hatch somewhere, scatter those across the, the world, and then you can go in and there's an interior down below. That would work kind of like the facilities work. And I could totally see Rockstar doing that if they don't want us or if they don't want to allow us to actually use the ones that are already in the game. If they want us to just let us purchase ones that are new, that would make the most sense. Now, another thing I wonder is if they're just going to keep it strictly to nightclubs or if they're going to allow us to own bars. Because, I mean, we have the yellow jack up here and you can see this has a nice interior. There's a bunch of people in here and it's one in sandy shores so if they wanted to give us some options you know right here the yellow jack would be a pretty nice option to have sort of in the north of the map and then here we have another bar this one is where you typically find the biker club people well, i guess this is technically a diner but you know it's another area that could fit in the you know in a bar slash nightclub dlc as a property to own up north because we're you know kind of close to Polito bay do you guys let me know in the comment section would you rather be able to purchase the clubs that are already established in the game or would you want something new like underground clubs that rockstar could place wherever most of these clubs would work if they allowed us to purchase them the one that would have issues is the tequila lot simply because we already have a mission there so they'd have to maybe remove that mission from the game by the way, this is what I was talking about earlier. At nighttime, you can see some of these clubs do actually have lights and have some people and bodyguard and all that, or a bouncer. So if you guys want, you can go around and online or even single player and checking, you know, checking out some of these locations to see how close they are to perhaps some of your buildings or properties, other properties that you own. Because I'm sure when this DLC comes out, you're not gonna want the most popular nightclub because that's where everyone's gonna be. You're gonna want your own one kind of you know by yourself in peace so you don't have to deal with griefers and other people trying to kill you now i'm sure i may have missed a club or two so if i did let me know in the comment section you know where it's located but i just thought i would show you guys the locations because you know we you may want to know where they all are but there you guys have it that is it with the video thank you all for watching please drop the video a like if you did enjoy subscribe for more awesome gta content thank you all for watching and as always uh, what? What the heck? What the? Aliens, they're coming for me. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.